It's the golden thread of our island story. A thousand years of history that mixes fairy tale and reality. It's Cinderella, but this time, the prince is real. Philip was the penniless prince who led a remarkable life. But he had to make sacrifices for his place. Lord Mountbatten was one of the conspirators who set Prince Philip up. He was a gorgeous, blonde Viking. You can see why a young girl would fall in love with him. They changed his name, they changed his religion, they put him into the British Navy, and they made him a British citizen. He didn't like the setup at Buckingham Palace. His quest for control brought strain. He was the man of the house. He was head of the family. What he said goes. And his legacy proved his biggest challenge. Charles wasn't the man that he wanted him to be, and that used to really rile him. I would describe him as a great man's man. Prince Philip belonged to the generation where you don't complain about your childhood. You just get on with life. These are the cards you'll be dealt with. You play the hand you've got. This royal outsider carved a place in history and redefined the royal family. It was very much the power behind the throne. In recent years, the Queen has lost her mother and her sister, and the third member of the Trinity was Prince Philip. Basically, since the age of 13, she's been in love with this man. And I think people will worry how she's going to deal with the grief of his passing.